The biggest clinical challenges that we have in treating MS are twofold. One is that we have a wealth of disease modifying therapies, uh, injectables, pills, which are oral medications, and infusions. And um, it's very, very challenging for the clinician because the patient now learns a lot about these drugs and comes in with a set of expectations whereas the clinician may not have the same opinion about the drug or the patient's uh, eligibility for a certain treatment. So the biggest challenge is trying to personalize the uh, treatment the way they are now doing with cancers and other uh, diseases that can be sort of genetically analyzed and then treated appropriately. So I think the biggest effort right now is trying to develop what we call a personalized treatment model in MS. We've actually, at the consortium, we've developed a publication called Therapeutic Choices in MS to try to help guide the clinician, but it's still very challenging. I think the most um, important thing we have to recognize is the patient's voice. You know, when I first started working in MS many years ago, there was nothing patients had to decide on because we didn't have any treatments. And today there are so many treatments and they learn about them online or from their friends or from some media, social media. They come in asking for it and it might not be the most appropriate drug for them and or their insurance might not cover it. So those are the challenges we face. The patient's expectations, the patient's uh, desire to become involved in the decision-making process. And then last but not least, of course, is trying to figure out if the patient goes on the drug, is it working? And the second therapeutic clinical challenge that we have is managing symptoms. You know, uh, over the years, at the beginning of the, you know, or the late part of the 20th century, we, we took care of a lot of symptomatic management like bladder and bowel and pain and spasticity. Today, there's such a focus on modifying the disease with the DMTs that we have to sort of back off a little bit and say, how are you feeling? You know, are you having symptoms? Or is your bladder bothering you? Are you having fatigue? And so that's the second challenge, to try to get clinicians to step back and take the time to see what the quality of life is for each person. And it's not just get them on an order, a disease modifying therapy, but try to develop a total clinical package individualized for each patient. So that challenge is probably not gonna get easier, but it's something that we will have to learn to deal with and we'll have to educate a, a lot of uh, generations of clinicians as well as patients and families.